Hey everyone, I'm here today with Nora Harold. We're so excited. She's going to be a presenter at the Global Congress coming up January 14th through 16th. And um, so just to get to know a bit about you, Nora, how did you first connect with the fairies? So I really can't remember a time when I didn't believe that fairies were real, <laughs> right? Like that's I, I, I tried last night, actually, to remember back to when I first said, oh, fairies are real, and there's no before for me. It was just a, a knowing, but it was also more of a theoretical knowing when I was younger, right? Theoretical understanding, not a real visceral experience of the fairy. Um, and then I got into tarot and crystals in college, right? And um, really started my journey pretty young at about the age of 18 in kind of consciously seeking expansion and awareness. And then I met a friend, Amy, at a job, uh, just a, a regular old retail job. And it was so clear to me that she was a fairy. She was just full on fairy in her energy. And that started me thinking a bit differently about the fairy, right? That, oh, a human could also be a fairy, <laughs> right? And, oh, they're not just these tiny winged little beings that we see depicted in, you know, Peter Pan and, and other mythology. There, there are many shapes and sizes and forms and identities. And then in 1996, I established direct conscious connection with my spirit guide, Mirando. So I set out to connect consciously and that came very effortlessly that night. And I was with Amy at the time, my wonderful fairy friend. So she was connecting with her guide. I was connecting with my guide and the feeling of unconditional love that I experienced during that moment was unlike anything I as Nora had ever experienced before. Um, and that set me then on a much more conscious journey of connection. And I began to kind of play with just recognizing fairy energy when they were present, right? And then I Oh, was gifted with Jessica Macbeth and Brian Froud's amazing fairies oracle, which completely opened me up even more to a deepening of my understanding and confirmation. It was amazing to see there in, in her work and Brian's work, what I had envisioned myself to just see it there in that way. Um, and then I started working professionally as a channel and my work primarily was with the Pleiadians and spirit guides and Yeshua and you know that kind of energy and that's still a lot of my work but in 2010 I was getting ready for a radio interview and I felt this being connect very strongly with me and I said whoa okay <laughs> what is this because <laughs> it was um it was a different energy from anything that I had worked with as a channel and I got immediately, okay, this is fairy. <laughs> She's a fairy. And first I got the name Kaliana for her. And I kind of worked with that in my, in my head and in myself and thought, no, that's not quite right. And then I heard Kaliandra. Ah, Kaliandra, got it. And then I had to go outside and stand barefoot on the ground to <laughs> ground myself. And she came through that night during that interview and and shortly afterwards, I was just having some fun. I Googled the word Kaliandra, and it's actually a, a plant. Um, and, and the common name of that plant is fairy duster. Wow. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, we get those validations every once in a while in a big way like that, right? I was really yeah. interested by that validation. It was not a word or a name I'd ever heard before. It's not like I was walking around looking at the Kaliandra growing in my neighborhood. And then I have since seen Kaliandra growing in my neighborhood. Um, and she was kind of my primary fairy for a while. And meanwhile, we have you know, a big animal family, dogs and cats. And yeah, I've always recognized that the animals that we share space with bring through fairy energy and 
star being energy and guiding energies, right? So we had this one beautiful kitty, the Smurf, whose formal name was Ursula, but that was way too formal for her <laughs> as a cat. And I knew she was full on fairy, 100%. And uh, she passed in 2019. And on the day of her passing, she immediately came back as Ursula in fairy form and let me know that I'd be channeling her. And I said, yeah, no, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to be channeling my um, dead cat, right? <laughs> but yes, <laughs> um, I, Ursula has been very present in my work since moving forward and wow. brings through just tremendous magic and healing and love and play and information. And, you know, the fairies, from my perspective, as fifth and sixth dimensional beings are our guides at this time in integration of our own fifth dimensional consciousness. So I've found Ursula support and help and love to be incredibly effective as we're moving through this time. Yeah, and that's something that I want to bring out more and convey to people because I do often think, you know, people have this sense of fairies just as these little tinkerbells who maybe live in flowers, but not realizing that they really are, they can assist us on so many levels and they are so much more than that. They really do help you open up to light and joy and love. And they are also their master manifestors. They, they really are so much about, you know, creating this world of form of nature that we live in. Absolutely. So, yeah. 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 And I'll tell you that one night I was just hanging out watching TV and over the dining room table, I saw a, a big light opening occur and Kaliandra stepped through in light body form and she was about 10 feet tall. She was huge. Yeah. And the Smurf, she was still embodied as a cat at that time, was lying on the dining room table right next to where Kaliandra stepped through wow. and actually prior to the Smurf leaving her body we knew she was going to have to leave um she spent the last two full days of her life on the floor under that spot mm -hmm. in the dining room that fairy portal so wow. that sits right outside my office it's it's right here <laughs> that fairy portal that Kaliandra opened and that many beings I think are, are using now. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, cool. Yeah. All right. So can you share a little bit about what you'll be presenting at the Congress? Oh, yes. I'm very excited to be presenting. Thank you. Um, so I'll be channeling, uh, I'll be direct voice channeling for the first half hour to 45 minutes or so. And I would love to tell you exactly what will come through, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. I can. Um, they know the topic, right? That it's the, the fairy human relations Congress. So we'll be, mm -hmm. of course, um, sharing about, you can see me, you see, you see when I do that, when I pause and look up, that's me <laughs> going to them right now, trying to get a little bit of a an outline for the event itself. So we'll definitely be channeling about fairy and human relations and how that works for all of us, along with uh, the integration of our fifth dimensional consciousness and how that is happening for us all in real time in our bodies. I believe we will be running a process to help all attendees connect directly with your own fairy guides um, which is something I've done in the past. And it's just really so profoundly moving when those connections occur. And they happen so simply and effortlessly and easily because of course these beings are already with us, right? It's not like we have to call them to us. It's just a matter of us getting out of the way just a little bit, our mental bodies hanging out over there, right? Opening our hearts. So we'll run a process like that. And then we'll have time for lots of Q&A with the attendees, right? Where you all will get to ask your questions of the fairies and the Pleiadians and Yeshua and whoever shows up. For sure, the, the fairies and the Pleiadians and for sure Yeshua will, will be present. I don't know if they will come through directly. 
Um, but I never know <laughs> who else will will come through. The oh. Mervy Yings came through oh. during my winter solstice transmission, and that was a huge surprise oh, cool. that they showed right. up. Yes, right. and and I see the Mervy Yings as fairy. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And the elves definitely. and the gnomes. And, yeah. Right, and yeah. on and on the pixies and the brownies and there's yeah. so the dragons even. Yeah. I see as fairy. Yeah. 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 That's why we actually we often refer to the fairy realms. Because yes. it does include so many people. And actually, it's interesting because there, so there's a book, uh, 40 Years with the Fairies, that just kind of part of how this whole thing got started. It was written by Daphne Charters and Michael Polarski, who started the Fairy Congress, he edited and published the book. So she talks about the first Fairy and Human Relations Congress happened just on the fairy realm. The fairies organized it. And she was just, she was a woman that lived in London and she could hear and see the fairies. So she wrote down what they told her. But um, from what I understand, Yeshua was a big, like the guest, the big guest speaker ah. at their Congress. So, oh, fascinating. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. That's amazing. Oh, <laughs> oh, yes. Anyway. That's amazing. Fun history. All right. Well, thanks so much for checking in. I'm so excited about, um, yeah, getting to learn and hear more from you at the Congress. And so just for everybody listening, go to fairycongress.com. The dates are January 14th to 16th. And yeah, and one thing also um, I've been wanting to point out is that all our workshops are live with this opportunity because I know I go to a lot of online stuff like most people do and it's so many of them are recorded. It's like, well, that's not so much fun. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I, I, it's you know it's part it, it's part of this third dimensional reality right that we yeah. get to have the live visceral yeah. experience and yeah it's amazing yes yeah and it's like even though we're not in person live still just having you know even zoom live is better than a zoom recording i think yes the energy shifts a bit. yeah yeah, yeah. All right. Thank well, thank you so much. And thank yeah, we you. hope to see thank you there. Thank you, Lindsay. Thank you. Great. See everyone there. Yeah.